Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gary the Bearded Woodworker. Thank you for joining me today. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I take these old dilapidated fence boards and turn them into this functioning bathroom cabinet. So come along. Now I'm going to glue these up in pairs, but I'm going to clamp them all together. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll make it easier on me. Uh, I have a joiner, and that's probably what you want to do if you got one to get a better straight edge on this before taking it to your table saw. But it's it's trapped. It's, it's behind a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to try just using the table saw and I'm going to do my best to line up the edges that are kind of straight with each other. As you can see, I've cut them into manageable sizes, rough sizes. These will be the sides of the cabinet. And then you've got uh, the top and the bottom here. It's nice. All right, we're going to try that. I got a little cuppage. You can see it. Uh, that was already cupped before doing this, but I think I can make it work. I'm really trying to go for this rustic look. I don't want to send it through the planer, and I don't want to do a lot of sanding and get rid of this uh, beautiful weathered, natural weathered patina look on it, because I think this is going to match the floors, the vinyl. Uh, floors that we put in the bathroom So it would be kind of cool to kind of carry that theme from the floor up to the top and actually have it be solid wood and not kind of vinyl so
I have a piece of quarter inch plywood that I had left over from a job I did for them. It was a ceiling job. I was gonna make a video, but I didn't. Uh, so I'm just gonna glue it and uh, tack it down here too, give it a little more rigidity. Sweet, that's more like it. Cut four boards down at the chop saw, of course, and I lightly sanded them, and it looks like four of these is going to be a perfect two doors for this cabinet. I did trim like a sixteenth of an inch on uh, these two, one of these pieces. That'll be the glue up. I want the raw, dirty edge, I guess you could say, uh, on the outside. So I'm gonna glue up these two panels. I'll probably end up putting up some kind of support on the back to help them stay together. But I just have to figure out what I like best, color-wise. Maybe that. All right, let's go up these panels and um, wait for them to dry overnight again. All right, now that I have uh, the doors out of the clamps I established was are going to be the inside and the outside and this is the inside So this is where I want to put the hinges. I have a whole bunch of hinges just left over from other jobs So it's kind of cool that I can reuse those and I'm going to use my Craig stick here And if you guys don't know this uh, I was kind of dumb when I first used this and, and I was drilling it and pulling it out And I was cleaning it out and sticking things in there and trying to get it. I had no idea that it uh, unscrewed like that so you could clean everything out <laughs> and you can move this. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna use this. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the measuring that they have here, put it on the edge. I think that looks like a good spot to do it. And that looks like a good spot to do it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill all four of those and then I'll put the doors on the carcass. All your chips come out just as easy as that line up the edge over on this one to the same thing voila and then these babies go in just like that
it did. Sometimes I use my brain. I think next I'm going to go ahead and clear coat it with the um, water-based marine grade clear coat that I have. And uh, it'll probably change it to a darker color here, but I think a couple of coats will kind of get into these crevices and it'll make it easier to wipe down. And when you wipe it, the paper towel or towel is not going to stick to it. So let's just start putting a couple of coats on it, everything on the inside. Then I'll decide whether or not I'll put an adjustable shelf or just a static shelf in there. But I just want to get it all uh, clear coated for now just because it takes a while to dry. It's so cold in the shop. Let's get those going now. there it is it's a perfect size cabinet for this little room it fits greatly over the uh, toilet here right where they needed it to go to keep some supplies for the bathroom and stuff I appreciate you guys watching please if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification if you want to I don't know if people do that or not well thanks for joining me thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you guys on the next video bye